Hey guys, welcome back to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today we are going to speak about the Panda Gallery widget for Elementor that makes a really charming interface for image galleries. On the screen, you are seeing a beautiful image gallery having a date and content box on top of it. When hovering, the content box at the bottom comes up inside the image while the image moves up a bit too. This is a combo animation effect that moves both objects at the same time while creating a distinct phenomena. Cool for an image gallery in order to catch the attention of the onlookers. Alright, let us show you the backend customization so you can understand how to create such an amazing image gallery in minutes. The widget is already dropped inside the page editor. On your left, you can customize the grid template columns, row gap and column gap to adjust the spacing between the gallery items. There is also an image height option and a machinery switcher to transform the gallery layout. Right below are three more switchers to change the visibility of the title, meta and date. The image size option lets you switch the dimension for the images. Then select media file for the link option and set light box to yes. The link option will trigger the linking function on the images. Now move to the item section where all gallery items are listed inside. You can add more by clicking the add item button or close any by clicking the cross button at the edge of the item box. Then click on the first item box and change the default image by choosing your first gallery image. Then change the title text and meta. You can customize the date for each image. And there is a custom URL field and item hidden switcher at the bottom. Also you can change from the image to video anytime you want. Now follow the process and finish customizing the rest of the items. You can see the default hover animation in effect on the screen. Now open the first item box and switch to the grid subsection. Here we can change the height, width and row height of an item using the column span, row span and height options. Let's change the column span to 7 while the row span to 2 and see what happens. Then move to the next item and fill the gap by increasing the column span. The total is 12 columns so make sure to adjust the values properly. Do the same for the third item too. The rest can stay as they are. With these little tweaks, you can create tons of different layouts for the gallery. Now go to the style tab so we can customize the gallery appearance. First, go to the content section and change the background to a gradient and select colors for that. The options also let you change the color depth angle and style of the gradient. Then go to the title section and change the text color to white. Then customize the font from typography. Next is the meta section. Change the text color to white with reduced color opacity. Also change the typography. After that, move to the date section. Switch to the gradient background type and then change the colors. Then change the font family, size and weight for the typography. Once you are done, minimize the settings panel and check how the completed image gallery looks. That's all for this video. Thanks for enjoying this tutorial. Please like, share and subscribe to get updates about new tutorials. Stay safe and see you next time.